So these are demonstrations on how to do the first four vibrato exercises in this Simon Fisher warming up book. Highly recommend you get the book because it's pretty cheap and it has lots of great stuff in it and helps you warm up. Uh, but here is the first exercise for vibrato. So this is playing around with finger pressure. I'm just gonna keep these fingers down so you can see what I'm doing. But all I'm doing is gonna be just touching the string and then touching the fingerboard. String, string and fingerboard. So it's really hard to tell because it's so tiny, but string, see so I'm lifting up, down. So I'm always touching the string, but here I'm pressing, and here I'm not. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for slow. Press, release, press, release. So the release is like doing a harmonic basically, but I'm still touching the string. So it's like string, string and fingerboard. And then you go a little faster. And then you go on to like 16th, that's a little faster. So you can kind of see it when I'm doing it here, but normally you're gonna keep your other fingers above. You can do it on any finger as well and it'll look like this. So you can barely see it because it's such a small motion, but that is vibrato exercise number one and you can call it heavy and light finger pressure. Exercise number two is actually curving or locking this nail joint. Like we say not to do when you're holding the bow, right? We say don't lock your pinky, don't lock your fingers, we want them curved. Here, this is actually an exercise for vibrato. You won't normally do it in vibrato though. And all you do is play with your finger down normally, and then you lock this joint like that. And you do it in those same rhythms that we just did. So. And like usual, you will have your fingers up here. I'm just bringing them down so you can see what I'm actually doing with my finger. And yeah, this is a really great exercise because when you do some vibrato up here, you want your nail joint to have the strength and the flexibility to be able to vibrate too. So this will help open up your finger. So that is number two, curving and straightening the nail joint. Number three is pulling and pushing the knuckles in and out. This is basically the vibrato, almost the vibrato exercise that we're actually doing. This is actually vibrato. So starting on your first finger for now, what you're gonna do is bring this line of your knuckles in and out. So here you can see I'm getting closer, bring them closer to the fingerboard like this. It's gonna be hard to get them close, but you're gonna squeeze as much as you can in and then you're gonna release it out. Squeeze in and then all the way back out and as far as you can do it. So it'll look like this. these you can just start with the slow one the first one I did the da 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 that and once you get more comfortable with this then we'll go faster and we'll do like the eighth notes and the sixteenth notes that I'm doing but that's how you do this one for your knuckles so you're bringing your knuckles in like this this is exactly what I was doing and then back out and same thing with your other fingers when you do it like this you're gonna bring them in it just gets a little harder than when you're putting more fingers down and finally the fourth one is moving the left hand in upright circles it's very similar it feels very similar to the third one that we just did, but it is a little bit different. So here, you're gonna do almost like your hand is going up and around in circles here. And you wanna make sure that this one is a little more of your wrist. So for, I'm actually saying it's okay right now to do a little more wrist vibrato. We're gonna get your wrist flexible, but normally we're still gonna keep doing this arm vibrato. So 
just a reminder, these four things are all vibrato exercises. When you're normally doing vibrato in a piece of music, you don't want to actually be locking your knuckles down like this and doing vibrato, right? These are all meant to get your hand more flexible. And then once we start to do vibrato like this, your arm's gonna be more flexible and used to it. So you're gonna be able to rock back and forth just like this.